in this video we will see types of pointers in C language hope you know the basics of pointers we strongly recommend you to learn the basics of pointers before going to this tutorial list of pointers null pointer dangling pointer generic pointer wild pointer complex pointer near pointer for pointer and huge pointer first we will see null pointer null pointer is a pointer which is pointing to nothing null pointer points the base address of the segment in case you don't have an address to be assigned to a pointer then you can simply use null pointer which is initialized with null value is considered as null pointer usually null is defined as zero like has to find null zero these are some representation of the null pointers let us take an example for null pointer in this example null value is assigned to pointer ptr as we know null is defined as zero so the ptr is zero next we will move to dangling pointer dangling pointer arise when an object is deleted or deallocated without modifying the value of the pointer so that the pointer still points to the memory location of the deallocated memory in short pointer pointing to a non-existing memory location is called dangling pointer Two ways the dangling pointer can be referred. First, you will see using free or deallocating memory. In this example, we have declared the character pointer in the first step. After execution of some statements, we have the deallocated memory which is allocated previously for them pointer as soon as the memory is deallocated for pointer pointer becomes dangling pointer next we will move to the next type that is out of scope dangling pointer in this example character pointer is declared in the first step pointer variable ptr is pointing to character variable secrets declaration in the inter block as character variable is not visible in outer block then pointer is still pointing to same invalid memory location in outer block then pointer becomes dangling pointer next we will move to generic pointers when a variable is declared as being a pointer to type void it is known as generic pointer since you cannot have a variable of type void the pointer will not point to any data and therefore cannot be dereferenced it is still pointer through to use it you just have to cast it to another kind of pointer first hence the term generic pointer this is very useful when you want to pointer point to the data on different types of pointer times next while pointer a pointer in C that has not been initialized 
until its first use is known as the oil pointer. A oil pointer points to same random max memory location. Example of oil pointer. Pointer PTR is a oil pointer as it is not initialized in this example. Next we will see how we can avoid oil pointer. We can initialize a pointer at the point of declaration with the address of some object variable or by null as given in this example pointer is assigned to the address of val so that we can avoid while pointer next you will see complex pointer precedence is operator precedence describes the order in which C reads expression associativity order operates operators of equal precedence in an expression are applied we need to assign the priority to the pointer declaration considering the precedence and associativity according to the following table we can refer this table where this bracket operator behaves as bracket operator or function operator this bracket operator that is square type this operator behaves as array subtracts subscription operator and then asterisk this operator behaves as pointer operator not as the multiplication operator identifier it is not an operator but it is name of the pointer variable priority will be assigned to the name of the pointer data type it is near pointer the pointer which can point only 64 kb data segment or segment number it is known as near pointer that is near pointer cannot access beyond the data segment like graphics video memory text video memory etc size of near pointer is 2 byte with the help of the keyword near we can make a, any pointer as near pointer in this example the pointer variable will be declared with the keyword here as we know the size of the near pointer is 2 byte so that the output will be 2 Next, we will move to for pointer. The pointer which can point or access hold this residence memory of RAM that is. Which can access all the 16 segments is known as for pointer. Size of the for pointer is 4 bytes or 32 bit. Let us take an example. In this example, the pointer PTR is declared with FAR. As we know, the size of the for pointer is 4. Next, we will move to huge pointer. This is the lost type of pointer. The pointer which can point or access hold the residence memory of RAM that is which can access all 16 segment is known as a huge pointer. Size of the for pointer is 4 byte or 32 bit. 
example in this example the pointer is declared with keyword huge we can print the size of these pointers as we know the size of the four pointer and huge pointer the output will be four four explanation for this program p is the huge pointer asterisk p is the four pointer and asterisk asterisk p is cat type data variable thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe